Hey guys, Captain DNA Donut here, and today we're going to be looking at the Doom demo again on a Lenovo Y700 AMD FX series. Uh, recently, Ed Software has released a patch to where you can do Vulkan inside the demo now and choose it as an API. So I decided to go ahead and look at that, especially seeing it's the laptop uh, that I have anyway, is a uh, AMD based uh, uh, CPU and GPU. So, um, we're going to be taking a look at that now. Now, the reason why there's black bars around the entire video is because the way I have it set up, I record uh, externally to a monitor, but I only have it to where the laptop displays what's on my monitor, not along with um, on the panel itself. But um, anyway, I lowered the resolution down to 900p because I saw that there were some gains um, when I did enable Vulkan along with the compute shaders. But I wanted to see how like large the gains could be, and when I um, lowered the resolution down to 900p, which really doesn't look too different, um, I got like 15 FPS increase in certain areas compared to 1080p with not that much uh, of a loss for image quality. So I highly recommend playing it that way. You can still play it at max settings. Um, but I turned AA off. I don't think it makes much of a difference between having it off and having the max settings AA. Um, you need it needs to, right now. It needs to be either off or you need to have the I think TSS AA on 8x to uh, enable the AC compute. So I decided to turn it off just to see how much performance I can get. And um, as you can see, in certain areas, I can get above 60 FPS or usually around uh, 60 FPS, but that's only in certain areas. It'll go above 70 at times too, but most of the time it's hovering at least at 40 and um, around the 50s, which is pretty good actually, because before, and I know it was only at 1080p, but through the OpenGL, it would only be around 30 FPS, which as long as it was above 30 or at 30 FPS, it felt fine, but if it, if it dropped below that, it felt terrible. Now, initially I did play it in 1080p, and um, it was still getting around 45 FPS most of the time, but it didn't look smooth and it didn't feel smooth whatsoever. So that's when I went ahead and lowered the resolution to see if I can get a higher frame rate, which worked out pretty well. So um, hopefully that explains the black horse that you're seeing around it. I know it's not an apples to apples comparison of um, the other video I made, but I just wanted to see how high I could get the performance on the laptop, and I'm pretty impressed because I didn't think that I'd get 60 FPS in Doom on this laptop, but obviously there's some performance left in AMD um, GPUs, and this helped out a whole lot, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you haven't seen the other one, um, I'll link it in the comments or in, and in the description, that way you can see just like a comparison. Also, one last note. The black bars that you'll see in this video won't show up on your laptop if you decide to get this or won't show up on the laptop um, when you're only playing on that and not to an external monitor. That's only to the external monitor right now and I'm not really sure why. If I have to guess it probably has something to do with Vulkan support but I'm not 100% sure. But um, rest assured those black bars do not show up when you're playing normally on the laptop itself. So. Um, Hopefully you guys like the video, hopefully it helps you out and decide if you want to get this laptop or not. Seems like um, DirectX 12 and Vulkan could probably help this out quite a bit honestly, which is pretty good seeing as um, certain times it can be CPU bound, so if it can relieve the CPU um, from doing the work and put on a GPU, which is pretty powerful in this laptop in my opinion, surprisingly so in my, anyway, um, it could probably do some great things, but anyway. I'll let the rest of the video play out. Hopefully you guys will like, comment, subscribe, and watch some of the other videos if uh, you want to see if it'll help you decide if you want to buy the laptop or not. But thanks for watching. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. You cannot be allowed to leave this place.
to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk, I assure you.
Thank you.